Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This time we are going to talk about on how to connect to MySQL database from inside C++ Builder. While in uh, several of my previous videos I have been connecting to uh, Microsoft Access and Microsoft SQL Server uh, using other components, this time we won't be able to use uh, those components to connect to uh, MySQL because uh, other components don't have providers that can do so. and. Um, uh, in this case, we are going to need to use the uh, FireDuck components. Okay, but first of all, why MySQL and not something else? Well, MySQL is a very popular database considering it's free and it's also located on many uh, free web uh, hostings. So uh, you can use your web hosting not necessarily for just hosting a web page, uh, but simply as a central place for your MySQL databases that you use, for example, in your applications. And uh, for that purposes, I have um, found this website here, databaseforfree.net, and it uh, enables you to create a, a free MySQL database. And it says pretty much here, uh, this uh, service is for testing, not for hostings. And that's what we actually need in this case, just to test uh, how to connect to MySQL database. But uh, in a real production, you would be using your uh, hosting, web hosting, for example, that usually uh, has the ability to create uh, MySQL databases for you. So uh, once you specify your uh, database name, username and password, and um, of course, uh, uh, agree with the conditions, you sign up and uh, your uh, MySQL database will be created. And in this case, uh, after accessing that database, uh, you can see here, uh, I have a database VCL examples test with a new test table. And that test table has some ID, name, second name and address columns. And uh, I can see here there are two records here. Uh, in, in that database table. So my idea here is to uh, simply write a C++ builder application that can connect to that online database and simply give me access to this table so that I can read and uh, write or uh, edit or delete data from that table. And now we can start. So first, um, in order to uh, do that, I need this uh, connection uh, object here a FireDuck connection and once I double click here uh, driver ID I will select here uh, MySQL and uh, uh, as I pointed out in several videos before uh, you might not have this option here if you use um, a community edition because community edition is limiting uh, FireDuck components to only a local databases so um, that's the uh, limitation uh, in FireDuck when using uh, a community edition. But this is not community edition, C++ Builder rather than a professional. And uh, in this case, I need to specify database name, username and password for that uh, database. And I have written them all down here. So uh, that is a VCL examples test database. Username is uh, VCL admin and uh, uh, password is admin pass right uh, so um, this is just for testing and the server is not local but it's online server and it's uh, this server right here okay so I'll just copy uh, the data here and once I click test uh, okay he said connection uh, established successfully well, uh, this may be a tricky part here because uh, in order to make this uh, connection established successfully, you need to have uh, libmysql DLL present. Uh, so uh, search it in a file system or download it. It's a part of MySQL. And uh, without that DLL, you won't be able to establish a connection. So it's mandatory to, to have that DLL. I recommend to have it in the same folder as your project or your exit file. And once I run this, I expect exit to be created here. Okay, so I recommend having the exit and DLL, uh, libmysql DLL in the same folder, right? So now I have successfully created a connection to my uh, uh, MySQL database and now everything is uh, the same as before as you would, you, you would be using uh, other components. So I would, for example, use dbgrid component 
and in that DB grid I would use a data source and uh, that data source would be using FireDuck table okay and FireDuck table first I need to say what connection am I using it is the connection one and it automatically connected uh, to connection one and table name now let's try and see now he will try to uh, offer me uh, to scan uh, directly and he did he said that there is a test table on VCL examples test database and if I go here that's the test table right and uh, I click active he connected to that uh, database table I say data source uses that uh, FireDuck table and that the DB grid he uses data source one and here we go and uh, I'll just uh, customize this a little bit okay and now we are connected to our MySQL uh, database and uh, pretty much uh, after I try to do something here for example I will change to John 1 and if I refresh this And here we go, we have John 1. Uh, I'll return it back. And I can also add a new record, for example. Okay, and I can refresh that again. And as you can see now I have my new record in that database and of course I can delete uh, the existing record using control delete and refreshing it again it works as intended so pretty much we have succeeded in uh, connecting to our uh, MySQL database and use it as any other uh, database but in this case like I said it is it was necessary to use FireDA component and uh, in uh, those FireDA components I have uh, specified a server as a web page that offered that service uh, this is the port and port can be visible here as well 3306 right and uh, like I said very important thing to remember that you need to have this uh, DLL uh, because you won't be able to connect uh, without it and uh, well guys that's it uh, thank you for watching and see you next